Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review on the Angle 90s grip, telling you how to use it, why to use it, and what you can use these grips for. Let's jump straight into the review. So the first bit we're going to be looking at is the Angle 90s. What are they? How do we use them? So first of all, it's a very, very simple product. It's got a handle and a strap system where it threads through. You have little notches in the side, which I'll show you how to use after. But the design itself is very simple. It has four main grips. This one is the ergo grip with the handle kind of bending this way. This is meant to replicate what is going on with the hand with this natural groove. Basically, as we hold onto it, we can see that it bends nice and ergonomically to the hand. This is meant to be more comfortable and easier to use. So this grip is known as the ergo grip. When we flip it round, pull the strap through. This is known as the second one, the power grip. Reason being is now instead of it bowing this way, it's now in this position. This is so it can support the outer portions of the hand, which are going to be the weakest point. If we can support and apply support to these outer point, these weaker points, it therefore should make us stronger. We now have this position that we can now use. The next position is going to be called the grip one. Normally when you're using the angle 90s, you're putting your middle finger through the hole and then this is where you pull from. With the grip one, you put your ring finger through. This is then gonna sort of upset the stability or the balance of holding the grip, meaning you're there gonna have to use your grip harder, so it's going to test it. Whatever we test is what we improve. So this is gonna make it more challenging. So you can use this for your pull-ups, your deadlifts, whatever it is, and this is just gonna make it a little bit more challenging. The fourth position is going to be the Power Plus. And this allows us to be able to turn what this would typically be seen as a pulling piece of equipment into something that we can now use with our pushing. And coupled with the sling train as well, which I highly recommend getting them as a pair, it allows you to basically have a suspension trainer or a gymnastic ring replacement, allowing you to be able to do dips, allowing you to be able to do push-ups, allowing you to basically find a more comfortable thing. If you want to attach these to machines or anything is, you've got another way in which you can pull from. Very easy to set up, where simply as you have it set up in the ergo position and you simply roll it up and as it's in this position you thread these straps in through the side and as you can see it creates this kind of hoop thing so again you can use it attaching it to to do your rows to having it hang down to be able to do your dips to your push-ups so a very versatile piece of equipment question is how do we attach it and this is also very very simple Normally, when I've been using these over the years, for any of you who've been following my channel for a while, don't know that I've been using these for a very long time. I mainly have been using them for doing pull-ups. And the simple nature is, you grab it over the bar, hook it through, and you slide these down. And then you're good to go. It's as simple as that. If you want to shorten the handle, then again, how we use these side grips is we would pull this through, and then slot that through on the end and then we can shorten the grip. So as you can see, even though it might seem simple in nature, it's got a lot of versatility. So it allows people that when they're getting this, is it allows them to find a grip that works for them, that works, because some grips are gonna be better for say doing pull-ups, to doing dips, to rows, to using it on a deadlift, to using it to a cable machine. Each grip, it may not be the same for each position, but it gives you that versatility to also shortening it, to increasing the range of motion or the strap length, to then turning it into something you can do with pushing exercises and turning it into a suspension trainer slash gymnastic ring set, especially when coupled with the strap system. So this is a really, really powerful, versatile tool that you could be using. So the question is, why should you be using the Angle 90s? So I've talked about the Angle 90s on all the different grips, what sort of exercises some of them we could use them for. The question is, why would you want to use them? We can typically just do a pull-up with a horizontal bar, do dips on a set of parallel bars, whatever it is, why should we be using them? So one of the key benefits of the Angle 90s and what actually drew me to them quite a few years ago was the ability to rotate. What we have to realize is when we are training, when we are doing it often and for a long period of time, training is a stress on the body. And what we wanna do is minimize negative stress. So basically joint stress or problems to our connective tissue. And if we are doing say certain exercises that go against our natural movement, this can apply stress in areas that we don't want to apply stress because we do wanna apply stress because it's that stress that we have to adapt to, which is where we get bigger and stronger, but we don't wanna put unnecessary stress to the body that can actually hold back our process or even lead to a potential injury. And the main benefit of these, what I found, especially predominantly using them for doing stuff like pull-ups, was the ability to rotate. And this is especially important for say, I would say predominantly pull-ups, 
is reducing the stress on the joints and the connective tissue. When you are doing a pull-up and you're holding on to the bar, whenever you are down here and you're pulling yourself up, you are put, putting yourself in the position where your arms, your wrists, your hands cannot rotate. If you were to leave them in their own natural position, you pull up, you will find that your hands naturally want to rotate, especially in something like the chin-up, having your hand in this fixed position. There are a lot of people, especially in this bottom position and at the top, that will struggle with problems with their wrist, where the angle 90s give you that natural movement and you will find that when you're using something like this and maybe for any of you that have done ring pull-ups we'll see how your body without even thinking about it naturally rotates it moves how it wants to it's designed to move and we can replicate that as much as possible especially under load like doing a pull-up you're taking the whole entirety of your body weight all of that stress is going into the muscles but also you can connect tissue and your joints we can reduce unnecessary stress and unnatural movement we can reduce the chance of injury, plateauing, or other problems that can accompany doing things like this. So the main thing that we can find with these is it allows our body to move more naturally, which means that we can train more often, we can train harder, we can do more work, lead to more gains and less injuries. It's a very, very key thing. The other thing that I really like about these is it increases the range of motion that we have to work on. And in many cases, increasing the range of motion can lead to more overall gains. What is very, very common is people will use a bar, and sometimes they'll only go to here or anything like that. But for anyone that wants to go harder, sometimes chest to bar is the highest they can go. However, now that we have these, we can increase the range of motion. If we can increase the range of motion, we can increase our time and attention, put more load on our muscles. So from here now, if I'm pulling up here and I'm doing chest to bar, I can now pull so much higher. The other benefit, especially when it comes to doing pull-ups with these, is I can now pull these apart. And especially when it comes to the back training, sometimes you will pull in this motion. But if you can get to here and spread, you can pull, as you can see, more with the mid-back. So you can get actually more mid-back activation with the ability of pulling these apart. So instead of looking like this, you're like this. I can now pull further and deeper and activate more muscles. And the great things about these straps is they're secure. Where if you were to use something, say like a set of gymnastic rings, if you were to do that, they'll slide across. These are locked in place, which makes them in some cases safer to use than a gymnastic ring. So overall, these are a fantastic tool to use in any of your training, but I have found real benefit, specifically coming from when doing my pull-ups. So the main benefit of the Angle 90s is the fact that it's not just a tool for calisthenics, but it's a tool that you can use with resistance bands, to machines, to weightlifting. This goes far beyond just using it for the pull-up. And I highly recommend it getting them just for doing pull-ups because they're brilliant for doing that. If you couple it with the sling system, you basically have a more portable version of a set of gymnastic rings with more variety when it comes to your grips where a set of gymnastic rings, just a set of gymnastic rings. You have a little bit more variety and can switch things up between doing pull-ups to push-ups to dips, whatever you want, have it more comfortable and a lot more portable. So from a calisthenics standpoint, it's a fantastic tool. And for me, just for doing pull-ups, I think it's fantastic. However, you can use this piece of equipment when it comes to using machines or even weightlifting. If you are doing a deadlift and you find when you get to the double over hand grip, you get to a point where you can't lift any more weight because the bar starts rolling in your hand, it starts falling out and you don't want to move towards doing the mixed grip. You can use these. You can attach these to the deadlift bar and you can start doing deadlifts with them. Maybe that ability to rotate might be a little bit more comfortable. These might be more easy and less likely to lose your grip than doing a double overhand grip. You can use them in this feature. If you want to do the lat pull down and similar to the pull up position, that fixed position aggravates you, especially if you're doing the underhand grip, attach these. The main benefit of what I found with this when it came to doing the pull up is that I no longer have to choose between doing pull ups or chin ups. I can literally hang and basically start in the pull up position and finish in the chin up position. I can get the benefits of doing both in one piece of equipment. You can do that with the seated row to the lap pull down. This has a lot of versatility, not just in calisthenics, but also weightlifting. If you want to use it in the sort of sling training position, instead of attaching it there, you want to attach it to a set of resistance bands and do rows or whatever it is. 
you can do that. So the real value in this product is its variety and not only just the grips but also the uses in what it can provide from calisthenics to machines to weightlifting so you're not just buying a piece of plastic with a, a strap to it you're using something that can allow you to get more out of exercises it allows you to do more exercises in one piece of equipment it's something especially with a sling trainer you can carry in your pocket makes it more portable and being able to use it in a variety of different ways makes training easier to be consistent with and consistency is key but also having that variety makes it training can be a little bit more fun you can add a new stimulus or a new stress which can also be really beneficial to getting bigger and stronger so the only problem i found with using this system over the years is depending on how big your hands are or how often you're doing pull-ups is sometimes the strap in the system can rub on the inside of your fingers but over the years, that's literally been the only problem that I could find with it. Sometimes when you're trying to get it in the, the hoop position to be able to get it, sometimes it might slip out a little bit. But just be conscious of it. It's a small sort of niggle. But other than that, that's it. Some people may niggle over the price. However, if you're getting something that allows you to replicate a home gym, but not just have a sling trainer. So this is the athlete set, which is a little bit more but I would highly recommend getting them as one because now you've got a suspension trainer or a gymnastic ring replacement or a set. And obviously, you've, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I think gymnastic rings are one of the most versatile and best bits of equipment you can get. And if you're getting this and in a more portable version, that's pretty awesome. But the fact that you can now use these in a gym setting and get a lot of use out of it, the value proposition really, really comes through. If you wanna go and check out this product, check out the video description or the first comment down below, there'll be a link to it and also a discount code. So not only will you save yourself some money, but you also help support the channel. If you found this video useful, it's a great way to get, give a kickback. And if you have enjoyed the video and you've actually purchased the product because of this video, something you liked in it, please comment down below. I'd love to know your feedback on the product. What drew you to it? What made you want to buy it? And overall, when you have got it, what did you think of it? If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you subscribe. I will be doing a video of a benefits video of more in depth of benefits of using this going into a bit more detail of maybe the benefits of using an increased range of motion and how using this grip can maybe stimulate more muscle growth make sure you subscribe for that because i will be doing a benefit video next week and i'll see you in the next video